Okay, more and all, um, another workout for you to try. Obviously something a bit different. Yesterday I posted Joe Wicks on the website and I sort of beat the teacher challenge. And you haven't had a look, have a look on your Google Classroom um, as soon as possible. Um, but another idea to keep you active today, um, based on Miss Merlin's videos last week, I'm gonna do a short, um, sort of not live workout, but give the information for a workout. So we look at the movements in more detail. We've got five movements. Okay, the first movement being pillow slams, second movement being single leg deadlifts, third movement being burpees, fourth movement being overhead squats, and fifth movement being Russian twists. So as you might have guessed from the names, I have included a pillow in this workout, just showing you you can use some stuff around the, out, the house to help you work out um, and be inventive. Um, the movements I'll take you through one by one. I'll give you a way to make it easier and a way to make it harder if you are obviously struggling or if you wish to push yourself that little bit harder. At the end, once I've shown you all the movements and some technique points on how to complete them, um, I will show you some ways to structure your workout to obviously, again, challenge you or make it easier dependent on what you're trying to achieve and your fitness level. So different things you can do and different ways you can do it. I'll take you through the five movements now. So, I've got a pillow, um, slightly older one. Obviously, you don't want to use your mum or dad's best pillow um, if they have one. But obviously, you perhaps use an older one or just use a one perhaps in a spare room if you're lucky enough to have one. Um, again, you might want to use perhaps a roll-up jumper and you can use a roll-up sock if you wish to. Um, just to sort of re-purpose um, what you've got around the house. Also, you know, if you're outside and trying this, you could use an old flat ball if you've got one. It'd work in going into the ground for our pillow slams to begin with. Um, shall I show you a pillow slam to begin with? This is what it should look like. So I'm trying to slam the pillow into the floor as hard as possible. Okay, it's that power explosive movement that we're looking for. Um, to make it easier, you can go from your knees. Again, to make it harder, um, perhaps you can bring your stance in to make it obviously more of a balancing act and focus on your core. So that's the first exercise of our pillow slams. The next one is a single leg deadlift, something I'm terrible at. Okay, so what we're looking at is this motion here. So I'm on one leg. And I'm trying to pick up and put down the pillow on one leg. The aim, whether I showed it very well, is trying to get your body with your leg in a straight line throughout it. Okay, if it's too hard, it is pretty tough. Um, first of all, try just changing the pillow so you're not going down as far. Okay, or use both legs. Okay, and bend at the hip, keeping your back straight. If it's too hard, Okay, or you can use perhaps a slightly weightier object um, to put you off balance. Third exercise is burpees. So I'll show you what we're looking for here. Okay, so I put the pillow on so I can land on it and my chest to stop um, slamming to the floor too hard. If that is too hard as an exercise, you can just go into a push up position and then in and jump. And if it's too easy, perhaps you could remove the pillow and just go straight down to the floor so you're going for a bit more depth in that situation. The next movement we are doing is the overhead squats. So take your pillow, put it above your head, okay, and then we're going to bend down and try and get our knees 90 degrees or lower. Okay, so turn sideways, we're trying to go below 90 degrees. If that is too hard, Okay, you could just try hugging the pillow and do a normal squat. If it's too easy, again, get something slightly weightier and slightly smaller above your head. The last movement we're looking at is Russian twists. So I'm on the floor, okay, I'm slightly in back, but I'm keeping my body straight. I'm gonna tap the pillow on each side. To make it easier, I can sit up or bring my knees in. And to make it harder, I can bring my feet off the floor. Okay, so there are five movements that you can do. I'm now going to come to the camera and show you different ways in which you can complete it. And these are put on the Google Classroom anyway, so you can read them in more detail when you have to try to do your workout.
So these are the ways. Number one, three times 10 of each exercise. So that means you will do 10 pillow slams, then rest. Then you'll do 10 pillow slams again and rest, and then do 10 pillow slams again. And then you have done, on pillow slams, you've done three sets. You'll then move on to single leg deadlifts. Do 10 of those, rest, 10, rest, 10, rest. Then onto burpees, overhead squats, and then Russian twists. The second way you can do it, you're gonna do each movement once. So you're gonna do 10 pillow slams, 10 single deadlifts, 10 burpees, 10 overhead squats, 10 Russian twists, then rest, wait two minutes, and then go through all five again. Okay, try and do that maybe five times in total. If that's too hard, try and get through it three times. If it's too easy, perhaps push for eight to 10 times. The third way we're looking at is you're gonna do each movement 10 times for 10 minutes. So how many you can get through in total, um, and it is tough obviously because that's 10 minutes of continuous work. So you'll do 10 pillow slams, 10 single leg deadlifts, 10 burpees, 10 overhead squats, 10 Russian twists, and then you go straight back to the start and keep going and keep going and keep going until the 10 minute timer is up. The final way, if you're lucky to have a smartwatch or perhaps a heart rate monitor around the house, um, you can do each movement once, so you go all the way through as you did with number two, and at the end, you'll get on your heart rate monitor and you'll look and see what your heart rate is. Then when it gets below 120 beats, you can go again. And then once you've finished that round again, you look at your watch, wait for it to get below 120 beats and go again. Obviously again, try and aim for five. If it's too hard, do three sets. And if it's too easy, maybe just aim for eight to 10. So there are five movements and there are four ways you can set up your workout to do it. Obviously, off you go, have good fun. There are different things on the classroom you can do if you do not want to do this. Um, if you've got more questions about what you do, put them in the Google Classroom. Otherwise, have fun and stay active.